Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how to set up the reference project for my 2D platformer crash course in Unity 2022. So the main files for getting this set up are going to be available on the Patreon page, and then I will have links to all of the free art packs where you just need to download them and put them in the proper place. So on Patreon, the file you're going to want to download is the reference project itself minus the art. So this will be in a zip file called platformer crash course underscore reference underscore Chris tutorials or CT underscore no art. So you simply need to take the folder inside and extract it into your Unity projects folder. Okay, so if I double click to open this up, You'll see in the assets folder that this already contains everything except for the art files. So if we jump into the assets art folder, you'll notice that the PNG files are missing. The meta files for the PNGs are still there to tell Unity how to import them back in. But I excluded the image files because of the no redistribution rule that a lot of these art packs have. So you'll have to re-download the art packs themselves, which should just take a few extra minutes. And you can see the place we need to put them and the link to find the download for them on itch.io. So all of these links will be in the description of the video or on the Patreon page. Hopefully it's easy to find it. Let me know if there's any problems. So first up from RV Ross, we have the animated pixel adventurer. On the download page, we need Adventurer 1.5, Adventurer Hand Combat, and Adventurer Bow. From AA Matt Neeks, we have the Fantasy Knight. So there's only one zip file here. So download free night version 1.zip. From Manigore, we have a cool font M5X7 that we can download. So there's just the TTF font file here to download. Another pack from a Matt Neeks. We have the cute forest free pixel art tile set. So we want the version 1.zip file here. From Henry Software, we have free pixel food. So we want to download the free pixel food.zip file. From Kairise, we have the free 16 by 16 RPG icon pack. So you want the version 1.3 zip file here. From Lewis Mello, we have Monster Creatures Fantasy. So you're going to want to download all three of these zip files. The base monsters are here in the zip file and extra animations are included in version 1.2 and 1.3. So download all three of these. And then for music, we have Ufoka's legendary JRPG battle music pack. So download the whole zip file here. We're only going to use one of the tracks for the demo, but there's a bunch of extra music in here as well. And then finally for sound effects, we have Leo Paz with the RPG Essentials sound effects free music pack. So download the entire free zip file right here. Okay, so you can see on my desktop, we have all of the zip files here. So we just need to extract the files to their proper place in the project. So once again, in the description, we have the directory path and which pack it corresponds with. So just use that to figure out where to put everything. So for the first one, the RV Raw's Adventure Pack, as we talked about a minute ago, there's three zip files inside of here. So we just need to enter the zip archive for each one and bring the files over. So just make sure that you're matching the file locations. You can see the Adventure version 1.5 sheet.png meta files here. So that's where the PNG should be as well. So we can just drag everything from in here into this folder and our sheet should match the meta file if you jump into individual sprites you should see the files matching up here so that's how you'll know that uh, you did it correctly okay so you just need to repeat the process for the other folders here so hand combat gonna drag this in there and then adventurer bow drag that in there and you should see for each of these sheets one png file you can look through it for a minute, just make sure everything is kind of matching there and that there's no missing PNG files. And then we can move on to the free night pack. So next up, the free night pack into the folder free night. I will extract the contents inside of here. So just line up your directories. Okay, and now we no longer need the zip file. Free cute tile set. So we take the PNGs and extract them in here. You should have one meta file for each PNG. Inside of the free pixel food pack, we're actually going to dive into free pixel food, assets, free pixel food, and then just take only the sprite folder into here. And it says the destination file has 66 files. Those are the meta files that are provided with the pack. So I don't believe in the project I made any changes, but just in case, I'm going to skip these files. Next, Kairise's RPG icon pack. So there's a file here, get into the folder, grab everything inside of here, and then extract them into the folder. You can just override the readme.txt. So lastly for the art, the Lewis Mello Monster Creatures Fantasy. Once again, this is a three zip file deal. So we need to do each one individually. So let's go into the Monster Creatures Fantasy 1.0. 
grab all of these folders, skeleton, mushroom, goblin, flying eye, and all characters, and drag them into this folder. Once again, making sure the folder names and the file names are matching up. So if you have a PNG file, you should have a meta file as well. Then we just do the same thing for 1.3, drag it in here. It adds extra sprite sheets to each of those monster files. And then 1.2 has stuff we'll need as well. So do just do the same thing. Make sure the folder names are matching up. And you can always go into each folder, double check that you have the same number of PNG and meta files and that they match the names correctly. And then they'll be able to import properly later on. So actually looking at it, there's no meta files for like attack two. So I might have actually not used that in my own project, but just in case, probably better to have the files in there. So lastly, we just need to bring in the music, the sound effects and the font file. Let's start with the font. So that goes in UI fonts, just drag the M5 X7 TTF and drop that in there. That's all you need to do. And then for music, you can see the soundtrack battle one eight bit style. So that is the one we need to get out of the JRPG music pack. You can see it's right here. Just drag and drop the folder. You can override the readme file. That's fine. And then in sound effects, we just need to bring in the whole RPG essentials free pack. So inside of here, uh, we go into the RPG essentials. Once again, match the file names, just drag that in there. And that's all you need to do. So if we jump in, you'll see a meta file for each wave sound effect. If you check all the folders, then you should pretty much be good to go at this point. So I know that setting all of this up, adding the assets back in is quite a little bit of work. I just wanted to be respectful of the licensing agreements once again. So once you spend a few minutes on that, we can go to Unity Hub and let's go ahead and open the project. So the drop down for open, click here and then choose add project from disk. Whether you downloaded it, you'll just need to jump into the folder and add project. If you want, you can rename it now. So I could just move the no art off the end of the name and just have it be underscore CT. So let's open up the project, add project. Definitely worth noting here, the editor version is 2022.1.20.f1. If you use a different version, it may work, it may not. But if you want to guarantee it, try to use the same version. You can install that over here. To make sure you have the same version, you can go to installs, install editor, and you'll see the new version 21F1 here. But you can always go over to the archive page and download the previous version if you need. So let's go ahead and jump into the reference project here. So I have the underscore CT one. That's the one we just spent 10 minutes setting up. Note that it may take a couple minutes to rebuild on the first open. So just come back in a minute. So we have the project opened up. I'm just going to dismiss the editor version notification. You may see a few errors down here, but that should be okay. So let's jump into project and then go to scenes, open up the gameplay scene. And what you're going to want to see is this. So all of the assets that had images that we brought in from those external itch.io sources should be loaded up correctly now. So all of the images have been matched with the meta files and the game should be able to run properly. So let's go ahead and hit play and make sure everything works. So I can hear the sound effects. Everything's working correctly. We've got our character animations. And that's pretty much it. So because the rest was just copying the whole project over, you shouldn't need to install any other dependencies. Cinema Machine and the import system should already be in the project. If for any reason you do need to check, you can always go to Window Package Manager. And in project, we'll see Cinema Machine and Import System here. So those are the two packages I added in uh, for this crash course. So as for the crash course itself, if you want to watch the whole tutorial, all of the links should be in the description. So you can go through and rebuild pretty much exactly what you see here. And once again, the project archive is on the patron page. So if you're a patron, you can go ahead and download it. Feel free to use the source code however you wish in your own projects. So thanks for watching this video to the end. Hopefully, if you haven't already, you'll check out the Crash Course material. And with that, I'll see all of you in my future video content.